Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, Anxiety Art Adventures. Happy Thursday. Uh, I am recording this video on Tuesday night. Uh, the reason for that is because we are actually having our driveway sealed tomorrow on Wednesday. So I don't know how long they're going to be here, what kind of noise they're going to be making. So I figured I'd just go ahead and, and do this unboxing tonight so you guys can see it on Thursday. Uh, so when you're seeing it, it will be Thursday. Uh, I am super excited about this kit from Diamond Art Club. Um, as soon as I saw it, I, I wanted it. Um, and if I wasn't doing my Mandy Manzano DP along starting April 1st, which... I guess will have started by the time you guys watch this um, this would be the next one that I would do so I might work on this one uh, side by side with the Mandy Manzano worlds away but super excited about this one um, yeah so let's get into it hope everybody's having a good day all right this is toucan threesome from Diamond Art Club it is a 71 by 51 centimeter round with a bees. So, yes. Now, I will say, this is the last diamond painting I am going to be buying for a little bit. Um, I am pretty much on a no buy right now until we figure out what's going on with um, job and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah. Everything's fine. Um, you know, we just... Just want to make sure that we're not spending frivolously and just kind of you know watching our money a little bit okay so the first thing I've noticed is that they have rolled the canvas the opposite way um, the other canvases that I've gotten from Diamond Art Club and I have not gotten one a new canvas in the last couple of weeks um, but usually they roll it the other way so that's cool that they roll it out okay so this is the schematic isn't that beautiful it's just so bright and cheery and oh my goodness yes please <laughs> uh, it has 30 colors so it's not it's not terribly bad um, I thought it had more than that, but it's got 30 colors, and it looks like it's got uh, 1AB, which is 134. Ooh, that's going to be a green AB. Nice. So, um, I've seen a couple of people unbox this, and um, I really, really liked it, so I got it as soon as it... Um, went on sale for the VIP members. So this is your Diamond Art Club kit. For those of you new to Diamond Art Club, uh, Diamond Art Club is my favorite company to buy from. Um, I say this numerous times, but for those of you that are new, um, the biggest reason is because A, they are licensed. All of their uh, artwork is licensed and um, they have approval from the artists that they use to make the canvases, so that is a huge plus. And also because uh, their canvases, I have never had a problem with the canvas. I've never had a canvas not be sticky. I've never had, you know, huge issues with drills. Everybody's going to get some trash in their drills. That's just how it is with diamond painting. But um, I've never had excessive amount of trash with their kits. Um, their customer service is phenomenal. And I just, they're my favorite company. So um, anybody that doesn't like Diamond Art Club, so sorry. <laughs> I mean, you can hate away all you want, but that's my personal opinion. I'm sticking with it. Okay, so anyway, um, for those of you that are new to Diamond Art Club, you get a kit with a pen, a diamond painting pen, um, a clear boat, and two heart-shaped wax pieces, and a squishy to put on your pen. If it was a square kit, you would get a pair of tweezers. Um, but this is a round kit because uh, for those of you that are new. Um, I don't really care for square diamonds, uh, diamond kits. I prefer round. I struggle with square because I'm so OCD. I sit there for an extensive period of time and try to line them up and it's just, it's very frustrating for me even with a multi-placer so I just don't do it. So yeah. All right we're gonna open this kit. 
let me know in the uh, comments below if anybody has this kit, if you're working on it, have finished it, or if you want to get this kit. Um, I, I am a huge fan. All right, so we're going to, okay, now, and this is your step-by-step -step instructions for those of you that are new. Um, you do get a step-by-step -step on how to diamond paint. Um, so that's nice for those of you that are new. And these are all the drills. Oh my gosh, look at all these pretty greens and oranges and yellows. Um, I really need bright colors right now. So this is fabulous. Fabulous. Okay, let's turn the canvas over. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That is phenomenal. Oh wait, it's fuzzy. Hold on one second. All right, hold on. Oh, this camera. There we go. Woo. Okay, I'm just going to take it off autofocus for right now. It seems the autofocus is having issues. Isn't that just beautiful? Beautiful. Got your three um, toucans with the greenery. And again, that's what the image is supposed to look like. So, very nice. Very nice. Oh my gosh. I was so excited to get this. I'll have no idea. <laughs> so excited to get this. So, okay. Now with every diamond art club canvas, um, you get, as you know, I got to move this. So yeah, you get a legend on the left side, uh, that has your DMC code, um, your symbol and your number that correlates with it, as well as on the bottom, right? You get that. Now, what I really like about diamond art club is down here in the left bottom left it gives you the um, inventory code for the kit the title of the kit toucan threesome and then it also gives you the artist Carolyn Steele um, I think every diamond painting company should do this and I, I'm gonna tell you the reason they don't is because they're not licensed to do it I, I can tell you that right now so um, I think that's fabulous and then they also put the schematic of the image down here in the left corner. So fantastic. Um, the canvas is always lays out flat immediately. Um, it's a very soft canvas. It's got lots of glitter and sparkle to it. Um, yeah, it's fabulous, fabulous. Okay, we're gonna do the sticky test. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, sugar. Sticky like sugar. <laughs> Don't mind me. I've been stuck at home for two weeks and I'm, I'm going absolute batshit crazy. Okay. Um, oh yeah. So we probably want to look at the drill field. So for that, I'm probably going to have to put it back on autofocus. One moment, please. Okay. We're going to see if this will actually work. Okay. So you guys can see how clear the drill field is. Very clear, very clear. Never had a problem with any fuzzy symbols with Diamond Art Club. You can easily see them. Fantastic. Okay. Um, and if you see these rivers, it's just the plastic. You pull the plastic back and it goes away. So never have any problems with their canvas because they use poured glue. Um, so yeah, awesome. Oh, I'm so excited about this canvas. Woo. Hey, Shaleen, can we swap to uh, any Diamond Art Club DP along? <laughs> I'm just teasing, I'm just teasing. Um, I have to kit up Mandy Manzano. Actually, I need to do that tomorrow. Um, the world's away one. I already did a video on that. Um, that is an awesome canvas. So yes. Okay. All right. Drills. Oh my goodness. These drills are fantastic. And with the drills, you also get, come on, focus, Shug. You can do it. Maybe you can't. Anyway, 
you get the name of the kit on the drills. So, all right, I'm gonna try to bring this down so we can do this with the drills. Okay. All right, crinkle alert. If you don't like crinkles, just fast forward it. Um, but honestly, if you don't like the crinkle sound, you probably shouldn't be into diamond painting, right? <laughs> Uh, before I get into this, y'all, look at my new nails. Aren't they just fantastic? I want to thank Miss Kim O'Connor, my Color Street stylist, for my order of my uh, Color Street nails. I've got some really pretty ones, um, some new spring colors. So thank you, Miss Kim. Love it. Um, and all of Kim's information is always down in my um, description below. So feel free to email Kim. She will send you a free sample of Color Street Nails if you are interested in trying them. Do it. It will change your life. Okay. Drills. Oh, gosh. These colors are just fabulous. Okay, we're going to see if we can get my camera to cooperate. Okay. Are you going to focus for me, Chef? We're going to see if it will work. Turn off, turn back on, turn off, turn back on. All right. Anyway, 904. I have got two bags of 904, which is a really pretty, um, like kind of spring olivey green. And I've got two bags of 905. Same, same. Pretty much the same color. It looks like 905 might be a hair brighter than the 904. All right, then you've got 444, nice bright yellow. Oh, yes, please. Uh, 134, all right, there's your AB. If you can see that, it's got all of the real pretty uh, spark sparkling, you know, it sparkles. Sparkle, Shug, sparkles. Um, AB stands for Aurora Borealis, and it is a shiny coating, uh, iridescent shiny coating that they put on top of the drills to make it sparkle. That is a gorgeous AB, though. I don't, I don't know if I have one with that color AB. Um, six nine nine. It looks like I've got one, two, three bags of six nine nine, which is a really pretty dark green. Um, two bags of eight nine zero, which is a dark, darker green. Okay, 939, which is a really, really dark blue. This is a real popular color in uh, diamond painting. Uh, 907, which is kind of like a chartreuse kind of green. 703, that's beautiful. That's like a bright lime color green. And then 3819. Um, I know you can't see it on the camera but it's like a it's like a, a yellow green so yeah awesome okay and then we've got these all right now these are in smaller bags I call these the accent color bags okay we've got three two two that is a gorgeous um like aqua color blue four nine eight real pretty red seven four four uh, like a pale yellow. 796. It's another pretty blue. It's kind of more of a royal blue. 321. Nice red, reddish pink. 820. It's another pretty blue. 775. Oh, that's pretty. It's like a very, very pale aqua. Almost looks like the color of my nails, y'all. Yeah. 797. Another pretty blue. 947, bright orange. Uh, 334, it's like a, uh, it's like an aqua blue. 666, six, six. that is the brightest red you could get right there. 993, nine, that is a beautiful um, like teal aqua color. This is like one of my favorite colors right there. 165. That's a real pretty yellow. 
702. Got your spring bright, bright green. 3841 is a baby blue. 741 and 742, they are bright oranges. This is like more of a yellow orange. That almost looks like Spanish orange from Prismacolor. That's what it reminds me of. Y'all, I haven't used a Prismacolor in a hot minute. How did I just remember that? Whew. Okay, this is 3325, this blue, and then this is 3755. So just two shades of light blue. And then an 823, that is a dark blue. Now, if you noticed, there is no 310. No 310. Woo! Okay, I'm going to put you back up. Oh, y'all don't need to see my lap. Okay. I'm not trying to make y'all sick. Okay, so those are all of the colors. So what I do, um, and those of you that, you know, follow me and my channel know, uh, what I do is I hang all of my canvases up on um, pants hangers and uh, hang them in a spare closet that I have. Look at little blue. He just rolled over. Um, and then I put all of the drills in a... Um, I either put them back in the bag they came in or a Ziploc bag and just a uh, permanent marker on the outside of the bag, you know, Diamond Art Club, the name of the canvas, that kind of thing. Um, and then I have a big three stack uh, drawer that I put all of my drills in. Um, so yeah, I don't put them back in the box. I don't roll them back up in the box because I just hang them up and I'm done with it. The only downside of doing that is that um, the corners will curl on the hanger but no big deal because once you lay it out flat it'll it'll flatten out so uh, I don't worry about that um, and it's always got the plastic on it now what I will probably do is I prefer to use um, the parchment squares the five by five parchment squares which oddly enough are not available on Amazon anymore they come in a different size now but this is the one I have they're five uh, five and a half by five and a half inches. This is Azu. Um, yeah, so they're just, and I reuse my parchment squares. So I just take those out and I put them all over the canvas. Um, that works for me. I've never had a problem with um, parchment paper, you know, pulling up the glue or anything like that. I've never had an issue with that. Um, I know some people have said they have, but um, honestly, if that's the case, it, it can't be real parchment paper. Um, because it would never pull like that. That's the whole point of parchment paper. Um, so yeah, I'll cover the whole thing in squares. And then because I'm very, um, I'm a very OCD structured person. So I'll do, you know, a square. Um, uh, sorry, my computer's being a pain. Um, I'll do a square a night. So I'll just take, you know, I'll take a five by five square down here. And I'll just pull that off and I'll work on that square. Um, a lot of people like to take one color and go all the way across the canvas. I, I, I don't do that. That's just not me. So um, I just work a square at a time and work it that way. Um, and that way too, for me, the rest of the canvas stays protected. Whereas if you're using the plastic and you put the same color like all the way across, the plastic isn't, it doesn't adhere to the canvas when you do that um, and I, I, I get more like dog hair and cat hair and stuff in it when when I don't use the parchment squares so um, yeah so I like using parchment squares Whee! oh I'm so happy to finally open this canvas I've been waiting and waiting waiting because I wanted to do an unboxing um, but I saw this um, I think uh, Donnie uh, open this one as a sneak peek and I saw it and I was like oh my gosh I have to get it because <laughs> it's so bright and cheerful um, it's just fabulous so and it's different it's something different than you know the other things I have that are more I, I'm I tend to go towards more fantasy type paintings or landscape paintings um, so yeah 
Anyway, so this is Toucan Threesome. So I wanted to show it to everybody. Um, again, like I said in the comments below, let me know what you think about this and if you have it, if you want to have it. Uh, if you're working on it, let me know. Um, that would be fantastic. So yeah, uh, and it's a round. I think I said that. It's a round drill. Yeah, these are round drills. Because I don't care for squares. Not a fan of the squares. That's so bright, that light. I'm so sorry. Um, I didn't turn that down ahead of time. But yeah, so that is the toucan. So you will definitely see me doing a whip and chat on this one. Um, along with the Mandy Manzano Worlds Away. For those of you that didn't watch my DP Along announcement, uh, me and Shalene with the Coloring Book Nook and uh, Lisa Bradley, we are doing a Mandy Manzano DP Along from April 1st through July 1st. So that gives us three months to work on a Mandy Manzano uh, diamond painting. It can be any, any Mandy Manzano diamond painting you choose. Um, it's perfect for you know that time frame i i'm i was overwhelming myself with trying to get diamond paintings done in a month some people can do it and that's great i can't do that um diamond painting is supposed to be fun and a hobby and something that you enjoy if you're being forced to do it to meet a time frame it's it, it's not fun so um that's why Shalene and Lisa and I decided on three months would be plenty of time for us to just relax and enjoy it. Um, and to be honest with you, it, will it take us three months? Probably not, but it might take me three months. I don't know, because I'll probably be working on this one as well. Um, but yeah, so we extended out the time frame to give everybody a chance to A, you know, if they want to join, be able to buy one from Diamond Art Club, uh, B, just take your time with it and have fun, you know. Um, Manny Manzano has so many beautiful, uh, uh, you know, choices on Diamond Art Club to choose from. Um, yes, there are going to be some that are sold out, but uh, when I looked, was it yesterday, there's still quite a few that are available. Um, awesome ones. So, uh, we would love to have you join us for that DP along. So feel free to join us. Um, we're using the uh, hashtag MandyDP2020 uh, on Instagram. And then uh, you can tag us in our Facebook groups. Um, uh, Shalene's Facebook group and Lisa's Facebook group and my Facebook group. So um, yeah, I'll go ahead and uh, put in the eye that announcement video so you guys can see that if anybody hasn't seen that so I will put that up there so anyway I hope everybody has a lovely Thursday um, I know I've been rambling through this video and I'm sorry I've just there's so many <laughs> so many things that I I would talk about but I don't want to talk about I'm trying to keep you know this channel a, a place where you can come to not hear about the coronavirus um, I'm trying to avoid that topic as much as possible. Um, all I'm going to say is that we recently did have some friends that are positive with the virus and have been diagnosed with it. Um, so I'm very concerned, uh, but every day I'm just trying to stay as positive as possible. Um, and my only... <laughs> request to all of you is to please just, you know, stay in touch with your family, your friends, your loved ones, check on them daily. Um, you know, do everything you can do to stay healthy and safe and just, just don't do anything stupid. Um, I've seen so many things recently about people being stupid and I'm just, I'm just so over that. It's like, you know, you're, you're, you're not thinking about other people when you do stupid things. So, um, yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna get on that topic, but anyway, so, um, yeah, so everybody just please stay safe, be healthy, uh, make smart, proactive decisions and, um, you know, do what you can to stay home. We, as of yesterday, we have been, um, 
put under order to stay home until June the 10th. Uh, my birthday, actually. Um, so our governor wants everybody to work from home until June the 10th. And um, as stressful as that may be, uh, it is the right decision. I, I think that is the right decision for people to stay home. And I think that's the, um, the only ammunition we have right now against uh, this virus until we get a vaccine and some kind of uh, medicine to um, get rid of it. So anyway, again, I am sorry for the rambling. I normally don't do this. I normally just do my <laughs> unboxing and that's it. But um, I, I haven't really had a chance to, to talk to, to you all um, and do a proper whip and chat because I don't really know what to talk about um, because I haven't done anything. I haven't been going anywhere. I haven't done anything besides, you know, sit here and diamond paint. And I've been playing a lot of video games with my friends because they're at home as well. Um, but yeah, I mean, that, that's all I've been doing. <laughs> my husband's been here. He works every day from home. Thank goodness he is. Um, you know, my best friend Sean is probably going to lose his job because he's in the you know, audiovisual um, entertainment industry, and there's just there's just no work. There's not going to be any work in that industry for a long time. Um, so I've been like, you know, on the phone with him a lot on a daily basis, playing video games with him a lot, trying to keep his mind off things. So, um, you know, there's just a lot going on. So I I am thinking about everybody, and I'm. You know, my thoughts and prayers are with everybody through this. And um, just all I can say is do your best to try and stay positive and just think happy thoughts and uh, think of like, you know, six months from now, hopefully we can, you know, be in a better place, so to speak. So um, I know it's affecting all of you and I... I I wish I could just reach out and hug each and every one of you because um, I know it's 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 been really rough especially I, I can tell you for me it's been it's been pretty rough um, but we're gonna get through this and um, yeah everything's gonna be okay so all right guys uh, sorry for the rant the babble there um, but yeah, I want to do a whip and chat and, and talk to y'all. I just, I don't, I don't know what to talk about. Um, but maybe I'll try to find some fun articles or something we can, um, we can chat about. So anyway, um, have a great Thursday. Um, love and hugs to all of you. Uh, for those of you that are new to the channel, uh, thank you for watching and making it through this crazy ramble here. Um, and uh, hit that subscribe button, ring the bell, so you know whenever I put up a video. Um, and for those of you that, you know, aren't new and are avid friends and subscribers, um, thank you. I really, I really appreciate it. And reading all your comments um, really, really brightens my day. So thank you for that. Um, for those of you that comment on, on my videos, thank you and for all the nice comments on Instagram as well. Um, I really appreciate it. So, love all of you, all my sugars. So everybody stay safe, be healthy, and um, stay positive. Bye guys.